Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS F16C Viper video, we're going to be taking a look at basic navigation using steer points and the TACAN. Navigating from point A to point Z and any point in between is going to be a very important part of any mission. Let's get started. Alright, so let's take a look at navigating in the Viper, uh, both through steer points and through TACAN. So, moving into the uh, DED, we see we have the uh, CNI page up, and that stands for Communication Navigation IFF, and here in the top right corner we see we have steer point 3 selected. And we can select uh, steer points through the uh, rocker here on the ICP, uh, going up cycle steer points through the sequence, and down goes back. We'll keep it at uh, steer point uh, 3 for now. On the HUD, we see we have steer point 3 selected here, and the range is 39 miles to it. And above that, we see the estimated time to reach that steer point. Uh, the diamond here indicates the location of that steer point as seen through the HUD. And the tap pull up here, the line indicates the direction towards the steer point, and a small circle will move left or right uh, on the HUD uh, based on it being offset left or right. Now going to the ICP, on button 4, we have our steer point page. Now we have it here on the DED, and again, we see we have steer point 3 selected, and going uh, dauber right, we can switch between manual and automatic uh, sequencing. So in ma manual mode, we'll have to manually select the steer point, whereas if we're in auto mode, it'll automatically select the next steer point in sequence when we get, once we get close to it. Uh, if we go dauber down, we can go ahead and edit the latitude, dauber down again, edit the longitude, once more, the elevation, and at the very bottom, we can adjust our uh, time on steer point. Uh, coming down to the horizontal situation display, or HSD, uh, the entire flight plan of steer points is displayed here with each dot representing a different steer point. And the filled in one indicates our current steer point. Uh, naturally, we can adjust the uh, display range and we have depressed mode, and centered mode, and so on. And coming down to the electronic HSI, uh, right now we're in nav mode for steer points down here. And the uh, blue line and tail indicates the direction to the selected steer point. But we also have a course uh, arrow we can use to adjust as well, which has the offset left and right and the to and from arrows. And we have the range to the steer point here and our course here. Oh, and also of course we have the ability to set our heading with the wheel here. So that's a little look at uh, steer points. Let's take a look at the TACAN now. So for the TACAN, we're going to dauber uh, right, or sorry, left, and now go to TILS on the ICP. So right now on the DED, we have ILS settings on the right side and TACAN settings on the left side. Uh, right now, our TACAN is set for receive only mode, REC, but going uh, dauber right, we can go ahead and switch that to uh, transmit receive, air to air mode. Let's go back then to transmit receive. Uh, dauber down now allows us to select the TACAN channel we want to guide to. So the easiest way to do that is just going to your F10 map and finding the airbase you want. Let's say Creech, and we see it's on 87. So we punch in 87, enter, and now we have our TACAN set up here on the DD. Uh, in terms of the band, it can be X-ray or Yankee, and you just toggle this with the uh, zero key on the ICP. And you may hear the uh, tack in signal now, but we can go ahead and turn that off with the wheel here. Now, coming down to the uh, uh, Tronic HSI, using the M key for the mode, we'll switch this to tack in now, uh, TCN. And now the blue arrow points to the tack in station, and we have the range, of course. And naturally, just like we did with the steer points, we can also adjust the course and the heading. Uh, one last element, we also have a bullseye. Uh, the bullseye symbol here on the HSD, and here also in the corner with the uh, range in the center and the bearing from the bullseye to you in the bottom. And you also have an arrow pointing in the direction of that bullseye as well. And you also have the bullseye information of uh, bearing and range up here on the HUD. So that's a little overview of navigating the Viper, both with steer points and TACAM. I very much hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.